Welcome back to my channel. Today we have soil, sour sour. Okay, I have two leaves here. This is potato leaves, two dollar for Thai, and um, it's not that big. And I will not be preparing the potato leaves today. I will be preparing the soil or what we call sour sour. This is it. It leaves. Uh, Purple and the stem, so it's purple and the leaves are brown. Since this one caterpillar ate it, so you have to be careful when plucking it. You pluck the part that is not eaten by caterpillar, you pluck it from the stalk and wash it thoroughly. Some people will chop it up, but I don't, I prefer to boil it like this because i have to blend it um when it's boiled you have to boil it for like 10 15 minutes and you wash it and get all of the sour taste out of the leaves so i'm preparing it for boiling now if you want you can chop it off at this point but i don't chop it up because um you have to pass it through a sieve and you don't want to lose a lot of the leaves so you just boil it until it changes its color to very um dark green yeah for like 10 15 minutes it's boiled now see the color is changed and at this point you have most of the sour taste out you wash it so these are the ingredients onions a goosey a banana pepper and then um, um, ground egusi. I have some meat, meat of your choice. And I have ogi. So I'm gonna blend my ingredients. You know how to do that. So just wash your onions, chop it off and boil it. This is the blended ingredient. In a clean pot, I put the ingredients and the meat together. I'm now grinding smoothly the egusi. I have to type the one that is already grounded and another one that's not grounded. Well, there is no reason for using both. I just like the fresh taste of this one I'm blending now. But you can always work with either or the grounded one or this one. Now I am putting my leaves that I've washed and taken all the sour taste out as I could. I will just give it pulse so that it's not too smooth. If you like, you can make it too smooth. It doesn't even matter whether it's smooth or not. As long as it's tasty and you can swallow the fufu with it. That's all that matters. So it's up to you. You can chop it up. You can grind it smooth. It's just up to you. Do what works for you into your kitchen as long as it's tasty so this blended ingredient and the meat has been boiling for like 30 minutes now it smells so good the onion pepper ogi and the egusi they have been boiling now I'm going to add red oil palm oil to it that's about um, one fourth of a cup palm oil you can totally skip the palm oil section if you don't want palm oil. You can eat it like that. Um, add palm oil to give it the nice African looks. So, we still have some um, moisture in it. So, I'm going to leave it to boil for some time. I want to add my grounded egusi melon seed now. I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons and then give it a good stirring leave it to boil you see it's sticking up as you add the egusi that's one of the beauty of adding the grounded egusi it thickens up so leave it for another 10 minutes or so remember it's messy so you regulate the fire the heat now I'm going to add my blended soil, sour sour. You know it's already cooked. We have boiled it before, so you just 
take your time allow it to incorporate with the alakpa that is what we have been boiling before we call it alakpa give it another 10 minutes to 15 minutes on low heat and here i have my fufu that is the cassava dough and my sour sour saturday sour sour sweet thank you for watching